What's up guys, today we're going to be doing a little tutorial on how to do an inline minimized jolt. Now, you guys are pretty lucky because I had a lot of trouble finding a stock jolt for this video. I finally found one on a random shelf at Target. So, thank goodness. But anyway, so let's go over the materials real fast and then we'll actually get into modding it. So the first thing you're going to need is a jolt, obviously. And then the second thing you'll need is a Dremel. You can't do this mod without a Dremel. <coughs> uh, I don't think... Don't try it with a handsaw, or a hacksaw, I mean, or an X-Acto knife or anything like that, because you're going to end up hurting yourself. The jolt is just too small to try and cut with uh, hand tools. Okay, then obviously if you're using your Dremel, you should be using eyewear of some sort. And for the Dremel, we're going to need a cutting disc and then just the sanding drum or whatever. Uh, we won't use that a whole lot, but you might need it for one step. Okay, and then you'll just need obviously a screwdriver to unscrew the jolt, CPVC coupling, um, and some way to cut it in half, whether that's the Dremel or some other way. And then you're going to need a clicky pen. Uh, we're going to get the spring out of this and the pen tube. The reason mine's covered in tape is because it's from a crappy company that I work for. And I don't want to advertise them. And then also, you don't need this, but it is nice to have some high grit sandpaper. Uh, I have some 400 here, or some low grit. Not really sure. Don't know sandpaper terminology very well, but you want to. It's nice to get your jolt nice and smooth as well. So that's about it for the materials. Now let's actually get into modding it. Okay, so the first thing we do obviously is just go ahead and unscrew the bottom of the blaster. Okay, so. You can see I got the plunger head here with the back plate attached still. It's not really in focus. There we go. And then I have the jolt separately. Okay, the next step is to um, unattach the trigger from the jolt. And you do that by, there's a little pin that goes right here. You can see it right here. Uh, I just took a thin screwdriver and then hammered it out. I tried to do it on camera, but I kind of failed miserably, so I had to go in my garage real quick and do it. But you should be able to just take a small hammer or whatever and just hit it a couple times with the screwdriver over the pin, and it should come out really quick. So you can see there's the pin, and here's the trigger. So um, the trigger, the return spring is this piece of plastic right here it's kind of flexible you can see okay so the next step is to actually start cutting away at the jewel so I'm gonna get the Dremel and then I will I will cut to another segment where we start cutting Okay guys, so here you can see I cut uh, my CPVC coupling in half. Again, sorry I did this off camera, but basically I just used a pipe cutter and I didn't really feel like doing it on camera. It's not that exciting of a process, but any way that you can cut this in half is fine. You could use a Dremel if you really need to, but I prefer not to. So we're going to go ahead and glue it to the top here. I forgot to mention you need super glue. I'll have to edit that in at the beginning. But, anyways, basically, we'll just glue it flush right here. <coughs> and then we'll go ahead and do the part with the spring. So, I'm going to grab some super glue and glue it on and show you what it looks like. Okay, here you can see I've glued my coupling to the jolt body. And the next step is to get your your pen, and mine just unscrews at the top, so I'm going to unscrew it. And then I don't want any of the pen part, 
All I need is the spring right here and part of the pen tube. Okay, so the next step is just to cut a length of the pen tube. So I'll go ahead and cut mine. I have no idea how long it should be, but here I just cut a big old piece. Okay, and then we're going to take our sanding drum, like I said earlier, and just try and round the bottom, like right here, where the pen tube will be glued to the coupling, so that it's round and it can be actually, it'll actually adhere to the coupling. So I'll do that and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here you can see I've rounded the end of the pen tube, and that's because now it fits.